And you're taking a live look at our nation's capital where lawmakers have been listening to some very tough testimony. A Parkland father speaking from the heart, hoping the Senate passes new gun law reform. Seven's Craig Stevens has the latest from D.C. More than 20 years after Columbine, children and teachers continue to be murdered in their classrooms. A father who lost his son in the Parkland shooting testifies before Congress after the recent string of mass shootings, including one that killed 19 fourth graders in Texas. Parkland, Florida, it had been ranked the safest city in our state. Now Alex is buried next to his mother in the cemetery. As the legislative body seems poised to pass the first piece of significant gun legislation in almost three decades, Schachter's son, Alex, was one of the 17 victims killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. On Valentine's Day 2018, I sent my little boy, Alex, to school, thinking that when I said goodbye to him, he would come home to me. Never for a moment did I think that he would be murdered in his English class. After the shooting, I was consumed with grief and anger. Since then, he's devoted his life to make sure no family ever suffers through that pain ever again. 2018, I started advocating for the creation of a federal school safety clearinghouse, a streamlined one-stop shop for all school safety best practices, resources, and grant programs. The clearinghouse was eventually established. Now he's focused on two pieces of legislation being considered as part of a wider package. One would codify that clearinghouse, the second... The Eagles Act, named after Alex's high school mascot, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Eagles. The Eagles Act would direct the National Threat Assessment Center of the Secret Service, known as NTAC, to expand their mission to in include school safety and provide them the necessary resources that they need to help schools prevent violence before it happens. The U.S. Secret Service uses threat assessments to protect the president and senior government officials. Law enforcement uses threat assessments to protect, prevent mass shootings. Our children deserve the same protection. Other changes in this bipartisan framework include making juvenile records of gun buyers under age 21 part of required background checks, mental health provisions, and incentives for local red flag laws, allowing authorities to temporarily remove guns from people considered dangerous. Several Senate lawmakers are waiting to see what the final bill says. And now is the time to pass into law the legislation that the Parkland families have been working on for four years. I'm Craig Stevens, today in Florida. And a sign that the legislation could pass is that top Republican, Mitch McConnell in the Senate. He says he supports the framework. So they are hoping to get this bill passed next week.